Chris Metter here with an Cobb House update. Today is November 5th, 2015. So you can see things are looking a little different here. Put some uh, brush here in the beginning of what's called the hoogle bed. And we'll talk about that in a separate episode. But basically, we're gonna cover this with dirt. And as water moves down the hill, keep this pile wet, break down the woody material, and turn into awesome soil. We put up a little shed here, uh, like a shed. Store some supplies and materials. You can see all the hay ready for making cob. Brought in some more mulch. Pomegranate's doing nice. Uh, moved around some more dirt, doing a little earthworks, starting to shape things up. And you can see one of the biggest differences is this wooden frame structure. Um, basically, this is just uh, the horizontal posts will be taken down, but the big vertical 4x4s will stay in place and become at least the bottom part will become encapsulated in the cob structure. And then all you'll see is the top part sticking out of the walls. And really the purpose of these are just to, um, you can see some little eyelets up there. So I'll basically string wire or some kind of trellis system up there so that uh, I can have vines growing and then there'll be shade at the very top of the structure. Because like I said before, the roof of the house is gonna be a patio. So I wanna have some plants growing around there to keep it cool and look nice and provide fresh air. So those posts will just be support for vines. And again, the horizontal beams going this way will be taken down. They're just kind of supporting it for now. So you see we got lots of nice rocks here ready for making cement and cob walls, some sand for the cement. And now we do have this stem wall finished right here. So that's gonna provide basically the support or the bottom part for the cob wall. So from the top of this, we'll build cob up until it meets the roof. Then you can see uh, after we built this wall, we backfilled along here with some DG, put in a couple trees. There's a Kate macadamia nut and a loquat. Over here, have our little little stem wall ready. So again, that'll be the foundation for the cob wall that'll come up and meet about flush with the top of this rock and come over to this corner. And then real exciting is we've started putting a little cob up. So you can see it's a little bit of the cob wall has started here. I actually made a batch of cob with the tractor and it was really easy, came out really good consistency, a good mix of clay, sand and straw, that's all that's in there. And yeah, looks great. So we'll have this wall come to the corner here and follow all the way over to that post, which is another corner. And we'll just keep building on that. We have to go up about another foot until we're even with this rock and then we'll basically lay beams from one wall here over to this rock. We'll put a little wall in here to make it level. And the beams will come back and forth. And then we'll put the roof on those beams. So pretty awesome, we've started the cob. It's looking good and moving quite fast. So I really hope we'll end up um, getting the roof on here before the rain starts. So that's pretty much the update for now. Um, and I'm gonna keep working on it. And hopefully 
get moving pretty soon. All right, thanks.